As the 7th century BC came into existence, a number of fundamental changes occurred that proved to be critically important for the creation of historical Italy. The period we are considering is traditionally known as the Orientalizing Period, a time between 700 and 600 BC or BCE. I know I use those terms interchangeably, um, and it really doesn't matter. It's the same BCE or BC. Um, I'll try to use one more than the other, and so let's settle on BCE for the moment. The changes in North Central Italy at this time, whether they whether you call them BC or BCE, were dramatic. Class-based societies with actual royalty appeared. Certain sites rose to prominence as major towns. International trade developed thanks to visits by those international traders, the Phoenicians, who came from the Syro-Palestinian coast. And there was contact with Greek colonies in South Italy and Sicily. Roadways linking up the peninsula began to stretch out and appear, along with elaborate drainage channels and water supply systems, which helped stabilize communities too. And the knowledge of these had been brought in through those international connections. North of Rome, the Villanovans of this period created towns that evolved into small city-states, such as Cervatory, sometimes referred to as Caere, C-A-E-R-E. Tarquinia and Vey were others, and they began to compete with one another, even though they were united by their language. As they became more sophisticated, they evolved into a new culture around 700 BCE that we refer to as the Etruscans. So we don't call them the Villanovans, even though it seems to be pretty much the same people. They are evolving into the Etruscans. And by the later 7th century BCE, they were powerful enough to spread southward and even take over Rome. Watch.